Okay, I think we are currently recording. I think, are we? Yes. Okay, so Courtney, if I go over here, and here is a question that you did. Okay, and it says you got this one wrong. Correct answer is negative infinity to negative one. Hey, can you turn that down a little bit? I'm doing a screen recording. I'm talking to a student. It's right there in front of me. Sorry, Courtney, we turned down the TV. And you answered negative infinity to negative two. Okay, remember that we can't use a bracket when we're talking about intervals of increasing and decreasing. Okay, because at that particular point, it it isn't increasing or decreasing. It's just at that point. So okay, we can't have a we can't have a bracket. Let's look at this picture. Here's what we're doing. You're going on the negative infinity. Remember, we're going from left to right. So no matter how negative I get over here, we're still going up. So you're looking at we go up, 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 and then when are we at the top of the hill? At negative one. So this function is increasing from negative infinity to negative one. Then when do we start going down the hill? And we're getting that negative one from the x value. What x value does it stop increasing? It stops increasing at negative one. Then what happens from negative one to positive infinity? Well, it's decreasing. So we get an increase from negative infinity to negative one. Then we should decrease from negative one to infinity. And let's see, you answered a negative infinity to negative two again. Remember, decreasing it's going down. You've got to read the function left to right. And then, of course, you will write there was no place where it was um, constant. Okay, so let's go here. Let's look at question eight and see what happened. So in question eight, it says we've got to tell the domain. We gotta do we got a whole bunch of things in question eight. Let's see what happened here. Um it's saying that you did pretty good until what is the rightmost x value where f of x equals three. So that means when y equals three. So let's look here, because remember f of x is just y. So I'm gonna go when y is three. Well, here's three right here said the rightmost value. Well, when do I hit the graph right here and x is 3, but that's not the one I'm looking for because it said the rightmost value. So I go over y is 3 again when x is 7. Okay, remember you can blow that graph up. All you gotta do is hit the plus sign right there. Uh, let's see. And you did, you actually told me 7. What is the, oh no, the right answer is 7. You told me six. Okay, that's probably you just couldn't see the graph good. Remember, if you need to see the graph, look right here. And we're going, we go, if it says f of x equals three, that means y equals three. So I go along right here and I hit the graph. That's my rightmost point when y is three. And that is what is x there? x equals seven. Okay. Um, that was eight. Let's look at nine. This is you got you got the hard part right on the other one on eight. Let's see. When's it telling me it's not happy with f? It says the interval on which f is decreasing. All right. So let's look at our picture. What happens? We're going up. We're going up. We're going up. We're going up. We're to the top of the hill. We're ready to go down. What is the x value here? Two. It goes down, it goes down, it goes down, then it stops. When does it stop? When x is 5. So we should be going from 2 to 5. This function is decreasing from 2 to 5. So let's see. The correct answer is 2 to 5. And let's see, what you tell me? You tell me 3 to 2.5. You went backwards. Remember, read left to right. We read the graph left to right just like we read a sentence left to right. All right, and then let's look at, was this question nine? I think so, yes. All right, let's look at 14. As it's swirling around here. My internet is bad at night. My children use all the free Wi-Fi unlimited and then at 10 o'clock it goes to blow again. Goes down. I'm talking to somebody. 
Um, one of my children is looking at me like I'm crazy over here, although I am crazy. Okay, it says half of it's wrong. Let's see, where'd you get it wrong? It's not saying it. Oh, right here. Find the numbers, if any, at which F has a relative minimum. So it's going to be a low point. So blow that graph up again. Okay, so it looks like we have a relative minimum at X equals 2 and X equals 4. Yep, and it should be 2, 4. Let's see, what are you telling me? Because you're at, it's asking you where are they at. They're at when X equals, well, you got the 2, but there's another one at X equals 4. So you're halfway right on there. They should give you a little credit. Okay, let's see if that helps in the ones you missed. Let's see if you actually get to view this. If I can see if Nimbus took the screenshot right. Let me go back. Ooh. Well, that's not where I'm at. I'm over here. All right. It should say I'm still, okay, stop 